What does the media ministry here at the Orlando Filipino Seventh-day Adventist Church do? Is it just easy as just pressing a button? No, <laughs> not at all. The media ministry here at the Orlando Filipino Church is, I would probably consider, one of the most high-tech uh, ministries that we have here at this church. Uh, there's a lot of involvement uh, that involves around 50 volunteers, and uh, each person plays a really important role that overall contributes to the ministry itself, whether it might be audio or visuals or running the cameras, directing the cameras, uh, or even running the live stream itself. Uh, there are so many facets that uh, encompasses what media ministry is here at our church. And I want to show you a little bit about what we do. When you look at our ministry as a whole, you can see us divided into three main categories. Audiovisual, video production, and content creating. Our audiovisual team consists of about two to four individuals. Uh, and this team primarily provides the audio and the visuals for people that are there physically in person. Um, and they also uh, help provide audio and visuals for those that are watching online. This person is basically the brains behind microphone uh, mixing, soundtrack mixing. Basically, everything that you hear is all run by this guy. And actually, if you look at the uh, audio setup here at our church, we actually divided the audio into three different mixes. Uh, we have a house mix, a stage mix, and a broadcast mix. And basically, each mix runs independent from each other because whatever you hear in the sanctuary, if you're physically there, that's different from what you would hear online. And so we wanna make sure that the audio levels are mixed perfectly, uh, it's balanced well, and so that involves uh, two different people running audio. Uh, so I have a house audio guy as well as a broadcast audio guy. And each person specifically fine tunes and balances all of the microphone mixes, all of the um, soundtrack uh, mixes for that particular destination. Our visual media operator is the person that's uh, running and controlling whatever people would see in on the projectors. We have two projectors in our sanctuary. Uh, we have a front projector and that's what everybody uh, in the congregation is seeing. And we also have a stage projector, which is actually in the back of the sanctuary. And that's what everybody on stage is seeing. For the people on stage, uh, the projector is uh, set up as a confidence screen. So for those that are praise team members or music, uh, special music singers, they wanna be able to see their lyrics well. And so our confidence screen is able to take the lyrics, blow it up to the size that they're able to easily see it. And so they'll be able to uh, know their lyrics as they're singing their songs. Those same lyrics will also be shown in the front projectors so that way the congregation can sing along but uh, this is where we will also include the motion backgrounds that will complement the design and so that way everybody that is seated in the congregation they're able to see really nice visuals. Now for our visual media operator we have two uh, people that run this particular role. We have a house and a broadcast uh, person. So for the house person this person is primarily in charge for running the graphics 
uh, that will go on the projectors that you see in the sanctuary. So this person runs the house visual media workstation in our audio visual booth. Uh, we have two computers that uh, run the visuals. We have a Windows computer that primarily runs PowerPoint, uh, whether that might be for a sermon or for a special presentation that we might have in the sanctuary. Um, that's what that computer is dedicated for. And our main computer is a Mac Mini, which primarily runs ProPresenter. And that's our main software platform that we use to run the graphics that you see on the projector screens. Now, over on the broadcast side, we also have a visual media operator, and that person primarily runs ProPresenter graphics, uh, primarily for those that are watching online. So when you're watching online, if you see lower thirds for the names of whoever is um, presenting, uh, that's primarily run by, the, by this operator. Uh, if you're watching uh, videos that might be queued, primarily for those that are watching online, that's what that person is also uh, responsible for running. Basically everything on the visual side of things, that's primarily run by the broadcast visual operator. The video production team is primarily tasked of providing video coverage for our worship services or whether we shoot a program over at our studio. It primarily consists of uh, a director and camera operators. Camera one is our main camera, which is uh, positioned right at the back middle of the sanctuary. And that's where most of our shots, our front view shots of the stage would uh, come from. And we have a side camera that we uh, uh, designated as camera two, and that gets more of the side view of the stage. It's a lot closer to the stage, so we can get more close-ups of, uh, um, of the participants on stage, the pianist or instrumentalists. Uh, it's also our um, uh, congregation. Uh, camera so we can also zoom in and get um, shots of the congregation sitting in the pews if they're praying or singing we'll get that um, when we run children's story uh, we want to get a good shot of the children's story speaker uh, the camera two is primarily uh, uh, in charge of getting that um, tight shot this is our sanctuary video control room uh, this is where our director our broadcast audio engineer and our uh, graphics or our visual media operator are seated. It's a, a closed off room so they're able to focus on their individual tasks. And this is where all of the camera shots, all of the camera feeds go into. Also the audio feeds from the sanctuary also gets routed to this room. And here in this room, this is where our video switcher, our main video switcher is located. The video switcher that we are utilizing is the ATEM television studio. It allows us to route all of the video and audio feeds straight to this device and our technical director can go in and cut between one camera shot to another camera shot and uh, we're able to balance out the audio and embed that into the uh, video uh, stream and um, our switcher then uh, sends that video signal uh, to our encoder. The encoder that we're utilizing is the Pearl Mini. It's a really nice uh, encoder. It allows us to manage different uh, encoding settings that provide a really clear uh, and crisp audio, uh, audio and video image that goes online. And so uh, that, uh, that sends out to the internet to which everybody that tunes in online is able to uh, watch and uh, be part of the worship service. The Media Center is our primary production studio. This is where we produce our faith-based programs, whether that might be music, um, health, Bible studies, or for shooting short promo videos. 
Uh, this is the place that we do it. Um, it's also the site of our Sabbath School Online uh, uh, program uh, because we have such a, a large online uh, uh, community that tunes in every Sabbath to watch our, our Sabbath worship services. Uh, we also thought that it would be uh, good to have an online version of Sabbath School. And so uh, uh, our studio is uh, dedicated to uh, providing uh, a location where uh, this live program can be aired. All of the programs we produce, whether that might be a live coverage of a worship service or it would be a TV program that we would produce here at the Media Center, um, uh, all of that is all archived on our uh, church YouTube channel and uh, viewers can be able to watch this on demand. But uh, we've also uh, thought about the idea of creating what we call a, a live 24-7 internet TV channel. And uh, back in April of 2021, we made that a reality. And uh, this is known as Ofsta TV. Ofsta TV is a live 24 hour a day, seven day a week internet TV channel uh, that we produced back in April of 2021. And that was the uh, time that we actually launched it. Uh, it was quite a feat uh, of uh, engineering and uh, programming that we put into it. We uh, at first thought that this wouldn't be possible, you know, given that we needed to have a machine running uh, nonstop. And uh, you know, thanks to uh, the digital world and the internet, we're able to make that possible. Since we started as a ministry, we've produced so much programs from uh, children's programming, to music programming, to Bible studies, to uh, Sabbath school discussions, panel discussions. Uh, uh, we have such a huge variety of different uh, types of uh, programs that we have produced and you know we thought why not put that all together in on this TV internet TV platform um, so that way when someone just grabs a remote uh, and turns on the TV they can right away watch our programming and get a blessing out of it and so we thought you know why don't we let's go ahead and give it a shot let's try it out so you're probably wondering how it works Everything is run through computers and the internet. Uh, we, we have a platform that we utilize where we're able to take all of our recorded programs and upload it to a database or an archive. Um, and that archive houses all of our content. And all we have to do is click and drag our programs on a special timeline, each and this timeline actually uh, goes from uh, 12 in the morning all the way to 11:59 in the evening. So basically, you're looking at a timeline that spans for the entire day. Very easily, we can just click and drag uh, the programs to air at a specific time during the day. Um, and so basically, when that day occurs and happens as we go from one hour to the next, uh, the computer will read the timeline and they'll see what program is up next. And what it will do is it will cue it. And so that by the time that hour actually passes, then the program is cued and it goes on the air. Um, now these programs are not exactly one hour. Some of them are about 30 minutes, others go to about 55 minutes. And so generally when one program finishes, we usually have a, uh, a, a span of time, a short period of time before the uh, next hour. And so in between programs, we'll put in um, promo videos, uh, faith-based commercials, uh, some music, uh, or a short devotional thought before that next hour comes. And so that way you have some sort of a, uh, a commercial break right before the next hour. And as soon as the next hour um, has arrived, then uh, the uh, platform will automatically trigger uh, and 
uh, show the next program for the next hour. So it's a really neat uh, uh, platform or mechanism uh, that they utilize in order to make this happen. And this is happening 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And ever since we launched it in April of 2021, uh, it has not stopped. It's still going as we speak. Um, there's always a program running every single hour. So, you know, turn on the TV, your smart TV or your smartphone or your computers, tune into off the TV and you'll get a blessing no matter what program might be showing on the air. You know, being involved in the media ministry in my church has been a huge blessing to me. Uh, I've, I've seen great uh, fulfillment and a pleasure just uh, using my talents, my God-given talents, to really bless and change lives uh, in the digital realm. Um, you know, uh, I, I've always had an eye for creativity and utilizing um, technology to minister to the gospel to people uh, beyond our church. Um, I've seen people's lives change and people always writing back to me saying, I've been so blessed by it your programming and it's it's these things that really continue motivating me to uh, continue to do what I do um, and I've been so blessed to have a church who's fully supportive and even those that are um, volunteers of the ministry they, they find great joy and fulfillment uh, being part of it as well so it's a great blessing and it's something that we know will continue to change lives um, every day and so we thank you for your support and uh, for believing in what we do um, we continue to ask for your prayers uh, and your support as we continue to uh, minister to the world through media evangelism